Today I want to speak to you about Tesla's flying stove. This drawing here is apparently made by Tesla himself for a device he called the flying stove. If you look near the top right where this cursor is, he has a motor driving a drive shaft with a gear mechanism which drives another one here. There's a motor over here again, drive shaft, so on, with four eccentric weights attached to each shaft. Well, there's one on each shaft, four in total. The idea being that as this thing rotates, you will always have two weights, the bottom one here and the top one here, which are lying along this vertical plane. And the centrifugal force, which is the opposite reaction of the centripetal force, should create a thrust along this plane towards the top. The two outer weights um, will have you know, one pointing down, one pointing up or into the page, out of the page. Various people have tried this. If you Google for Tesla's flying stove, you'll find there's a website where a person has actually built this but it didn't work, of course. There's a picture of it. You can see he's got a gear mechanism. But what they missed was, in the center over here, you can see this arrow, circular arrow. This whole mechanism is supposed to rotate at a one-to-one -one ratio with these drive shafts. And if you do that, I used Blender to just make a basic 3D model, you end up with something like this. So, as you can see, I've had I've, each of these arrows, or just assume that the purple end is the weight and the red end is also a weight. And as it rotates, well, to start off with, notice that it's lined up in this direction, towards the right. So as I rotate through 90 degrees, I again have two weights lined up towards the right. And this one is down, that one is up, and it's always going to be that way. Rotate at another 90 degrees, and you've got two weights lining up, this one down, that one up. And so on. The theory now being that the thrust comes from the fact that this weight here is at this distance from the central axis which I've marked here with the 3D cursor. And this weight here is actually at the center, so he doesn't contribute to anything, whereas this one does. And Tesla theorized that as this rotates, um, you can have an unbalanced situation where you always have a centrifugal force to the right, or in this design to the right. If you do the maths, if you, for instance, have two kilogram weights spinning at 2000 RPM, it works out somewhere between 3,000 and 4,000 kilograms of thrust that you would get in this direction, which is quite good if it worked, but it won't work, and here's the reason why. If you follow this red weight, I'll bring it back to the start. If you follow its path, it's going to follow more or less the path I've drawn here, using a Bezier curve. And that's the motion of the weight. It doesn't matter how many gears and shafts and whatever you do with it, this is what the weight does. It moves along this line. It's a closed loop, and because of that it's not going to produce any thrust. I've actually tried this.
mine didn't produce thirst. You can try yours, maybe yours does. If it does, or if you say it does, I probably won't believe you, unless I see it. If you made these weights a shorter distance away from the shaft, this will the path it follows will probably be a bit more like a D, whereas you know, it doesn't come in here, it just comes straight down and around to the front. But no matter what you do with it, because it's a closed loop, the net force is always going to be zero. Now, some of you will probably not like urine that, but go ahead and try it. I also thought it would work and then it didn't. And then when I looked further to see why, and followed the path of the weight, then it made sense as to why it didn't, or why it won't work.